two weeks ago I showcased serious backtesters Bollinger Band strategy for stocks. In that video I mentioned that in the future I will optimize the strategy for the 30 minute and the daily chart. So in this video I will show you those two optimizations, the backtest results and the strategy ranking spreadsheet. And the best part, you can get the full source code for free. Let's get right into it. First of all, if you haven't seen the previous strategy explanation video, make sure to check that out to know all the indicators needed and the entry and exit rules. I will leave a link to that in the description and in the comment section. Okay, so this will be a short video. I will just show you the two optimizations and the settings. Also keep in mind that there have been a bug fix with the script, so make sure to visit the download link down in the description and re-download the script. Because with the first release version, the max candles limiter was not working properly, but I fixed that. Here you can see the 30 minute optimization for Microsoft. I set it to trade longs only, the RSI is set to 120, the overbought level is 55, the Bollinger Band's length is 45, its STD dev is 1.1, for stop loss the ATR is 70, the stop loss is 12, and the take profit at 5. You can untick the use Bollinger Band with filter, as I found that it did not improve the strategy at all when I optimized it, but keep the breakout filter ticked and the max candles ticked too. Also set the limit to 40. Let's see one or two trade examples. So here we have a long signal. And that is because we had a red candle closing outside of the lower Bollinger Bands, then another candle closed inside back the Bollinger Bands and above the high of the previous candle. Also on the signal candle, the RSI was below its limit level of 55. And the exit was here. That's because the take profit level on the signal candle was placed here. Here is another long entry and a profitable one. And another one here. And another one here. So as you can see, this script can capture great entries. Now let's see the results. Okay, so here are the results for the last four years, starting from 1st of September 2020 and ending on 1st of September 2024. Oh, I forgot to mention the position sizing and the fees. So I'm using a $10,000 initial capital with a 35,000 order size on each trade. That means a 3.5x leverage. The pyramiding is set to 1. The commission is 0.05% per trade and we are using a 5 tick slippage. Now during these 4 years, the best optimization I could find only took 85 trades. But those 85 trades generated almost 200% net profit with a 67% win rate, a 1.7 profit factor and 23% maximum drawdown. Here you can see the buy and hold equity curve and this strategy easily outperformed that, which is always a great sign. But what about the after optimization date performance? Let's see. So I set the date to today's day and the start date to 2024 1st of September. And after the optimization date, the strategy optimization is still profitable. It only took 6 trades, but generated 17% net profit with a 19% maximum drawdown. I think these results are not bad. Obviously, it is not for those who want to trade every day, but these were the best results I could get. Now let's see the optimization made for the daily time frame. Okay, on the daily time frame, we will use the same position sizing and the same fee structure. But the settings of course are different. I'm still using longs only for trade direction. The RSI is 25. The overbought and oversold levels are these. The Bollinger Band's length is 20. The STD depth is 1. The ATR length is 114. The stop loss distance is 6. Take profit distance is a 3 times ATR. Again, you can untick the use Bollinger Bandwidth as I am using a 0 here too. But keep the breakout filter tick with 105 limit. Oh, in the previous optimization I forgot to mention what this means. So basically, if neither the stop loss or take profit gets hit after 105 candles, then we force the script to close the open trade instantly. On the 30 minute optimization I use the 40 length here. So if after 40 candles neither the stop loss nor the take profit gets hit at any trade, that should be closed instantly. Okay, let's see a few trade examples. So here we had a great entry. The price closed under the Bollinger Band, then it closed back above it, and this candle's close was higher than the previous candle's highest point. Also, the RSI filter agrees with this position too. 
the take profit is here and the stop loss is down here. At this trade, the take profit got hit, giving us a great trade. But let's see the next one. Again, a profitable trade, entry here, exit there. What about the next one? The case is the same, a profitable trade, entry here, and exit there. Now, on the daily chart, obviously I could get even less trades than on the 30 minute. And even on the 30 minute, we only got 85 trades. But let me show you. So the backtesting time interval is the same, the last four years, starting and ending on the 1st of September. And on the daily, this optimization produced zero losing trades, but we only got 11 trades. Getting a low trade count like this can easily mean that the optimization is overfitted. However, this whole strategy was made to be used on multiple stocks simultaneously, and I will show you that how it performs on other stocks in just a minute. So with this strategy, a low trade count might not be that big of a deal, because it is designed to be used on multiple stocks at the same time. These 11 trades produced 313% net profit, obviously with a 100% win rate, and a 21% maximum drawdown. But what about the after optimization results? Let's see. So after the optimization date, this strategy did not generate any trades. So I wouldn't be using this script as not getting a single trade for around five to six months is not ideal. But as I said, it is designed to be used on multiple stocks. So let's see how it performs on other stocks. Nvidia is losing. Ford is losing too. But Intel generated a good profit. Tesla is profitable too, Apple is losing, Snapchat is profitable, and AT&T is profitable too. So by picking the right stocks, this strategy maybe has some potential. Would I trade it? Not really. But as always, none of my content is financial advice. I am not a financial advisor. It is always up to you to decide what you want to use for algo trading, for automated trading, and what you don't want to. As I mentioned earlier, this script is free for everyone. The link is down in the description and in the comment section. If you don't know how to add it to your chart, just watch the previous part of this video. I explained it there clearly. And if you want to take a look on the 30 minute optimization and how it performs on other stocks, let's take a look. So back on the 30 minute optimization, let's see Nvidia. It is losing, Ford is losing, Intel is losing, Tesla is somewhat profitable, Apple is losing, Snapchat is break even. AT&T is losing, Amazon is somewhat profitable. So I think the 30 minute optimization is slightly worse than the daily, as the daily was profitable on many more stocks. And to close out this video, let's take a look on the strategy ranking spreadsheet and let's see how both of these optimization performed compared to all the other strategies I have presented so far on TradeSmart AI. Okay, so here's the strategy ranking spreadsheet. This is also linked in the description, so you can check it out. And today's strategy, Serious Backtesters Bollinger Bands Mina Version Strategy took the 25th and the 31 and the 31st place. These placements are not really good, but this is the most I could get out of these. So the 25th placement is for the daily chart optimization and the 31st placement is for the 30 minute chart optimization. Looking at its results, so the daily got 313% and at the 30 minute only 187%. Now comparing it to the top performers, it is well below. I will put this YouTube video link here in this spreadsheet and the strategy download link right here. If you are looking for a strategy for stocks, I would recommend checking out the daily high low breakout strategy for Tesla or the three indicator momentum strategy for Tesla. And that wraps up today's video. For more content, premium strategy scripts, check out my main channel, TradeSmart and or Patreon shop where you can buy more complex strategy scripts, private coding or strategy optimization. If you want to see another highly profitable strategy, check out this video. Or if you want to see one of my premium strategies that generated 154% net profit in a single month, check out this video on our main TradeSmart channel. If you want to support the channel, don't forget to like, subscribe and turn on the notification bell. As always, thank you all for watching, have an amazing day and until next time, trade smart!